This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this particular part, we are going to discuss an important concept. The name of the concept is he. So we are all familiar with this name, isn't it? He in day-to-day -day life, uh, we use this term he. So in this particular chapter, we are going to study in detail about this heat, its properties and how it is produced and what is the reason all the concepts are related to heat that we are going to study in this particular chapter. Along with that, we even study about hot and cold. When we call a substance, uh, you know, is hot, when we say a substance is uh, cool, what is the difference between hot and cold that we are going to study and even we'll study transfer of heat okay how to transfer heat from one uh, what we can say um, system to the another system there are various methods for that so we'll study transfer of heat by conduction how it uh, works how it works and by convection and even by radiation so how heat is get transferred in all these three different methods that we are going to study in this particular chapter okay heat so what is heat basically yes basically heat is a form of energy it makes a substance hotter and this heat, we all know we say it's uh, something when we touch uh, any object which is hot, we say it's hot, but we cannot see that hotness, isn't it? So heat, it cannot be seen by us. We can feel the heat by the temperature effect that it produces, okay? Heat is uh, not a thing where which we can see. It's just an experience that we'll get because of its uh, temperature effect. It can be a heat like a hot. When we say a subject, you not know, uh, any object or uh, any uh, anything is um, hotter, which means it's the temperature effect that is produced by heat, hotter or cooler. You, I'll give you an example for that. Uh, you just uh, take an example of uh, utensil just placed on a gas, okay? When this utensil is kept on a gas burner, it gets heat and its temperature increases and it becomes salt, isn't it? So, heat is given to a substance, its temperature in, you know, its temperature increases and then it becomes hotter. If the heat is removed from an object, then its temperature is reduced, then it becomes colder. For that, you can consider water which is kept in a refrigerator. In that case, we are removing the heat from the substance. So, in that case, what happens? That heat, it gets removed and then its temperature decreases and it becomes cold, isn't it? So, these are all due to the temperature effect of the heat. So, it cannot be seen by us. It's just a feel. So, now I am telling you hotter and cold, hot and cold. When we increase the, you know, the temperature, then it will become hot. If you remove the, uh, that heat, na, heat, then it will become cold. Then what is this hot and cold? Yes, we'll see what is this hot and cold. See, in our daily life, we come across a number of objects. We say some of the objects are hot and even uh, we say some of the objects are cold, isn't it? Uh, you can just uh, think of an example like uh, tea. Everyone drinks tea, right? Or you can say coffee. So, tea is hot but ice is cold, isn't it? Uh, we, we say tea is hot and we say ice is cold. We can't say high tea, ice is hot, isn't it? 
Uh, one more example is a frying pan which is kept on a burning gas. That is also hot, isn't it? At the same time, if you consider the handle of that for you know frying pan, that will be cold. Even among the hotter ob hot objects, we consider some of the objects are hotter than the others. So we say hot, hotter, hottest. The object which are uh, you know uh, very much hot, we say it is very hot. And when we compare, we say this one is uh, this tea is hotter than that tea. We can say that, right? So there is a difference in the uh, the heat measurement also, or we can say the heat temperature. Depending on the temperature, that heatness will be increased or reduced. It varies, isn't it? Sometimes a sense of touch is not reliable in telling us whether an object is really hot or cold. If it is uh, not okay, not too hot or not too cold. And sometimes, however, our sense of touch is uh, not at all reliable. It means if it is like uh, if it is neither too hot, if it is neither too cold, what we can say? We can't even say it's hot. We can't even say it's cold. So in order to understand this point, we'll take up an activity, okay, in the coming part.